What's up guys and welcome back. We're back with another video in the same week. Woo! Actually you guys, this is the third video in the same week. Don't you guys love that I can actually do videos now? Uh, it's so much easier doing them from home rather than on the road. Plus the editing and uploading is a lot quicker as well. Woo! Woo! Alright guys, so this week we've been challenged to do the 10 quarantine question challenge. Um, and that was by Big Daddy and Bubbles over on YouTube. If you guys haven't already, make sure to go check them out. I will try to put their link in the description, and if not, their YouTube name should pop up when you put it in the search bar. Jeez, Cody, you're rocking back to Cody forward. is very excited for the Whoa. 10 question quarantine Whoa. challenge. <laughs> Alright. <clears throat> so, the way we're going to do it is, I'm going to read the question, and then Sam is going to answer, like, from her point of view, and then I'll answer from my point of view. Okay, are you ready, Sam? Are you ready? What do I win? <clears throat> you win nothing! Crap. Oh, I'll buy you another plan. Woo! <laughs> okay. I'm about to ask him to slap my butt for a plan? Woo! <laughs> Alright. I don't want to get into that. I... Okay. Full disclosure. <laughs> I, I don't know what happened. I botched the editing job on that video. I If you guys haven't already watched it, um, I don't know what happened. I must have missed part of it and it just didn't come out the way it was supposed to. Anyway, yeah. okay. First question, Sam. You ready? <clears throat> yeah. How much toilet paper do we currently have? I have not count. So I go count real quick. <laughs> It's probably about, I think, didn't we buy like a 20 pack? Yeah. We, I think we, we recently bought a 20 pack, like somewhere far away, before we got the RV. And probably I think. Probably like 10? No. Probably 15. I think we only went through about two. I think we only went through about two or three rolls, so we might even have more than that. But uh, yeah, we have plenty. And uh, <laughs> it's two ply. We're fancy. Is it two ply? I think it's two ply. It is two ply. You can use regular toilet paper in an RV, but just. Make sure you put a lot of water before you flush. And after, yeah, just let after. the puddle down, pedal down for a minute. Yeah. I see a lot of people they don't uh, they don't go number two in the bathroom. I, where do you go outside? Anyway. <laughs> um, question number two: What has been the biggest change since the lockdown? Since we do RV transporting, I used you know with all these fast food places being closed, I have to walk through the drive-thru because we have an RV with us so I have to walk through the drive-thru to get food instead of me being able to just go in and take it to go so that was that's been pretty hard I would say the same thing I mean we were on the road for like the like the, the most locked down part of like the coronavirus and everything so everything is starting to open back up down here we're in phase two in Florida right but I want to say like we didn't really feel too much the the RV industry was busy the whole time. It's yeah. still it's still extremely busy. I mean, RV sales have really gone up, so it's you know, and that's keeping us busy. And luckily now that these manufacturers are back open, um, you know, they can get supplies and put out RVs, and we make money transporting them. All right. Uh, number three, where are we currently located? My address is... No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> sorry, guys. We ain't getting that personal. I'm sorry. <laughs> We're in Florida. We are in Florida, though. We are in Central Florida. Come find us. <laughs> okay. Question number four. When have we gone out lately? Yesterday. Went to Home Depot and Walmart. I gotta be honest with you guys. Um, I don't own a mask. And... Uh, but I do social distance, and I and I wash my hands thoroughly all the time. But it seems like people aren't social distancing anymore. No, that, that's like gone out the window. Now that this whole um, rioting thing and protest, everybody forgot about. Well, I don't know about everybody, but it seems like a lot of people forgot about. The no one's following the guidelines anymore. Yeah, I was in Dollar General the other day. And I'm still ba I'm, I'm taking you know that little carousel thing that they put all your bags in and it like spins. So I'm taking all my things off, and the, and the register thing is right here. And this lady started to put her things on the. Didn't even wait balls. until we were gone. I can like, so we moved out of the way. I don't understand. So, uh, yeah. So we went out to Dollar General. We go to Walmart. Uh, I hate Walmart though. The, the mask thing freaks me out, for people, because I don't know if they have it or if they're trying. Oh, to when they start not coughing and stuff, that freaks me out. Like when I'm in the bathroom and someone starts coughing, or they don't wash their hands before they leave. Ugh. Yeah, yeah. So we, it's not only Walmart. I, everywhere I go when we're traveling, it goes like that. Yeah. So we try, we try to not go to too, too many places. 
Yeah. We're going to be trying Instacart this week, if you guys haven't heard about that service. Uh, it's a delivery service, and it's its own, like, company, but they, they'll go to, like, Publix for you, or they'll go to, uh, what are the other stores they go to? ABC Liquor. <laughs> yeah, well, okay. And there's, an, there's another, and um, Aldi. And like Aldi. It, it depends on your location too, like what stores they'll serve. Yeah. But they go to a whole bunch of stores and they but can for just, us it's only those three. Right. And they'll deliver your food to you, so if you don't want to go out and deal with, you know, people, you don't have to. Yeah, so we're gonna try that out. Alright, question number five. What are we most grateful for? And I think I think we are both gonna agree on this together. To be able to get this R V and be able to move into an R V park with this coronavirus going on. No campgrounds are letting anybody in. Yeah. It, it, there are vacant spots everywhere. And uh, I mean, now that they might start to be letting a couple people in, but I, I think they're still on edge about letting new, you know, newcomers in and stuff. So we are really grateful for the opportunity to have this RV, to have a home, a home base is amazing. Yeah. And uh, you know, to have a a lot to get into. All right. <laughs> Question number six: What do you miss most? I miss being able to eat inside a restaurant. I miss being able to walk down a damn aisle whichever way I please. Not I, ones that say do not enter or I have to walk around just to be able to get to the other side. I don't understand the logic of that. I don't understand no why. No one's following it anymore anyway. So. Right, but I, don't, I still don't understand like why I can't go around this way and you go around that way. We're still going to pass each other eventually. And odds mm -hmm. are we're not going to be six feet apart because the aisles aren't even six feet wide. So so can you explain to the I don't understand. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> what do I miss most? Um, I don't know. You know, I missed having a home base and having an RV, and uh, that seems to be, you know, fulfilled now. So I think I'm pretty good on my, uh, you know, wish list and, and my misses. Right? Okay. Why okay. is it right? It's your, <laughs> it's your answer. <laughs> uh, okay. Number seven. <laughs> How long has it been since you've been to a paid campsite? We're in one now. I'm in one right now. You've been here for what, three weeks? About a little under three weeks. Yeah. And uh, so far, so good. I haven't really had any problems. Except for my neighbor. That's right on top of us. Uh, <laughs> but it's not her fault, though. No. No. <laughs> okay. Number eight. I think it's number eight. I don't know why he's screaming. Got everybody here. What's your favorite quarantine food or meal? Lately we've been eating a lot of pizza and wings. Yeah, and rotisserie chicken with mashed potatoes and stuffing. Because <laughs> it's like so quick, you know? You just yeah. like pop it in the oven and, and it's good to go. And then like the, the stuffing, you just add water and butter, I think. The same thing with the mashed potatoes. And then you're done. So yeah, that's good. That's good stuff. Okay. <laughs> All right. That. Number nine. Are you getting exercise or are you working out? I walk Cody around the park and we've been busy in here doing stuff and I do my planting and stuff so I do a little cardio with that. I I certainly exercise. I <laughs> even though it doesn't look like it. I uh <laughs> We we gain it all right back when we're done. Yeah, when I eat my pizza and wings and rotisserie <laughs> chicken. But I'm you know, I climb up this death ladder. I, I hate climbing up these RV ladders. They're so like chintzy and I feel like I'm gonna die climbing up them, but uh you know, I got up there, I did the whole, I cleaned out the whole AC, I cleaned the roof. Uh, we did the carpet yesterday, that was a workout. I, 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 you know, we're always cleaning, so we're, yeah. we're on the move. Plus, I feel like when we're at Walmart, I walk like 40 miles, I'm pretty sure. So, you know, yeah, I'm getting a workout. And yeah, we're in there for a minute, because we, like, we'll jump onto one side, and they're like, oh, we forgot this, so now I gotta go all the way to the other side of the store. Plus, you gotta be like Spider-Man, you're like, oh, don't get near me, don't touch me, ah, ah, you know, so. Uh, it's it's interesting. Okay, Sam, and for our last and final question, who do we want to challenge next? <laughs> I would love. I really would love to see Nomadic Fanatic do this um, this challenge. We don't know so, any people in RVs. Yeah, I, I um, I mean, I know a couple people, but I, I know a lot of people have already done the challenge and. Uh, but I haven't seen Nomadic Fanatic do it. So, if you guys follow him, uh, maybe drop a comment on one of his videos and tell him to do the challenge. Tell him that that Nomadic couple told him to do the challenge, all right? So, we can get that out there. And, 
you know, he can do it. So, yeah, that's the 10 questions, guys. I thought we'd just sh shoot this video up. And, uh, yeah. Sam and I are just hanging down for the day. It's supposed to rain a little later on, so. Yeah, like always. It yeah. always rains over here. So we're just hanging out. Just had some pizza and wings. <laughs> and, and now we're going to go uh, chill. So, if you guys haven't already, please do make sure to like and subscribe, and uh, give us a like and a thumbs up, drop a comment. Cody thanks you all for all the birthday wishes on Instagram and Facebook, and uh, I mean, and uh, YouTube. YouTube. <laughs> he had a very nice little birthday. He ate his whole damn cupcake after I ended the video yesterday, yeah. so that was cool. Right? Yeah. yeah. He still didn't play with his toy yet, though. Yeah, I'm still trying to get him on that flamingo toy. It'll happen eventually. I'll put some, like, peanut, I'll smear it in peanut butter or something. Ew. No little hair doesn't come off and I'll start choking. <laughs> anyway, guys, have you all, hope you're all having a great day, and I hope you like the challenge. And I will see. We will see you guys in the next one. In the next one. Woo! Bye.